Well, hey guys, welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima and this is my bi-weekly update. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been working on small things here and there on and off and I really didn't get much done um, as far as major productivity. Uh, but the one thing I did get done is I actually did finally finish my joiner mallets. Uh, these are made out of honey locust head and the walnut handle and I still got a few of these in my Etsy store so if you're interested uh, there'll be a link down in the description so you can check those out and if you want one you can go ahead and purchase one. So I thought about putting a leather padding on one side and leave the other side wood. Um, if, you, if you think the leather padding is a good idea and you would want one of these mallets with leather padding on one end uh, you can also let me know either by emailing me or just by comments in the comments area. I did however acquire a new piece of tool for my shop which I really wanted to get for a while uh, but really didn't have the funds for it and when the opportunity jumped up for all things on Instagram um, I just really couldn't pass up the offer. So I went ahead and bought the Festool CT26 uh, dust extractor. I'm really happy with it and I, I mean it's a lot better than hooking up to my shop vac. Um, I get a lot better results when using my Festool sander. So I'm really happy about it and I'm pretty sure the finish on my project is going to show also. So that's that. Now the biggest thing that I was working on for the last week or so is I've been putting together my X-Carve CNC from Inventables. Now this was sent to me free of charge from Inventables uh, to use in my shop and to give them kind of a quick review of what I think of it and so far I'm really happy with it. Um, although I haven't used it yet I'm just happy with uh, the size and the waste board and pretty much the size of the project that I could work on because the CNC I had previously was just too small. Um, there are a few things here and there because you do have to put this whole thing together so if you don't follow instructions like I sometimes didn't um, there's some sequence of things of operations of things that have to be put together and if you don't you're gonna end up taking stuff apart so if you buy in one of these the first thing I suggest you do is go through the instructions read through them from top to bottom and just make sure you understand before you just go right into it which is exactly what I did and I had to take stuff apart and build it twice in some spots so so hopefully within the next few weeks I'll be able to do some projects on this CNC I'm really looking forward to it now the other thing is I wanted to wish happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there um, and I hope you enjoyed Sunday and spent time with your family um, I got a really cool gift from my twin boys um, it's a shirt that says real men Real men make twins, and I thought this was pretty interesting uh, to wear in the video. And the other shirt that they gave me was, you can't scare me, I've got twins. And I really think that was pretty interesting. For those of you who don't, who don't know, I do have 15-month-old uh, twin boys that are starting to get into all sorts of troubles. So the one thing I always keep forgetting to talk about is my sticker wall. Now, as you can see here, I've got a number of different stickers that I've received over the last few couple of weeks. And I figured um, this wall that's usually behind me in my video is probably the best place to, to you know, put those and show support for other woodworkers or anybody that really has a shop sticker. If you got a sticker and you want to swap stickers with me, go ahead and shoot me an email with an address and I'll send you out my sticker and also give you my address so you can send me a sticker. Now if you don't have a sticker and you just want to support my channel, um, I've got these stickers on my Etsy store for about two bucks two dollars and fifty cents I think it's not much but every little bit really helps support the channel well I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed the video let me know by giving me a thumbs up comment down below if you got any additional questions about my shop or anything about me in general feel free to do so in the comments area well have fun in the shop but be safe doing it see you guys next time